Okay, how you guys doing? Uh, Ivy and I were driving down the highway and went past this turtle. We haven't looked real well at him because his shell is broken towards the front. Okay, it's bleeding all over the side of the highway, the inside by the medium. Medium. So grabbed him to put him here by this big pond. At least he's got some place and it's a good chance this is where he is heading. But sometimes when you find a turtle like this, there's nothing you can really do. The best thing you can sometimes do is try to just let him go, put him by the spot where you think he might be going, in this case by the water, hope for the best. They are they have decent immune systems, they're strong, they're tough, they're good healers. You just keep your fingers crossed and wish for the best. Sometimes that's all you can do. So, it's just a tidbit. You're gonna feel bad, but it's better than nothing. At least if it dies here, it'll die near water instead of next to the highway. Here in all those cars, and Ivy was saying bacon in the sun. So, just keep our fingers crossed. Maybe one year we'll see this turtle again with a healed shell or something. It just sucks because it's by the head, you know? Okay, see you guys. It just like hung on. It was really funny. That's it cool. made me laugh. Like, Here's a dog tick, guys. It looks like a watermelon seed. Characteristic of a dog tick. And they're bigger than most of the other ticks in our region, except for a Lone Star. It's a pretty guy, but you know, you don't want him digging in, which takes over, you know, 12 hours, 12 to 14 hours for him to dig in. I gotta take this guy off me, but I'm not gonna kill it because I'm outside. I'm just gonna let him go. Cool. See how they flatten? They could stick to your, hold on to your skin when you're trying to brush them off. Wouldn't do any good to be a parasite if you can easily rub it off, right? Looks like a little face on him. It's kind of hard to focus, but check out all these little tick nymphs. These ones are already dug in on me, so it's gonna be fun removing them. But sometimes if you're in certain areas of the pines or whatnot, uh, on the underside of some of the leaves will be groups of maybe a hundred baby ticks or more. And they can still carry Lyme disease. So you gotta really check your body for these things. So here we have a Lone Star tick. And they're large like dog ticks, so they're easier to find, at least the adults. But um, I really like that spot in the middle, it's kind of striking. However, Lone Star ticks have their own disease. Sometimes they can harbor Lyme disease, but they also affect a couple other things that are pretty nasty. So try to avoid these things. Always check your body. Those are hickory nuts, man. Oh, they are? Yeah, Joe, go get some hickory nuts. Okay. Hold on. I almost got it. Oh, here, 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 let me help you. <laughs> Got it? Yay! Ooh. <laughs> That's one. <laughs> That's one. And it's rotted. <laughs> it isn't really.